Hey guys, what's up? It's Tang Griffin here. Um, I'm back with another collection update video. Um, I apologize there hasn't been any um, other like gaming review videos, but I'll get to those soon because I have some stuff I wanted to play and test, and um, so I haven't really gotten around to it. So with that said, let's get into this collection update. I have about seven or eight, maybe nine games to show. Um, the first game I'm going to show is for the GameCube, and it's called Geist. Now this game is really interesting. Uh, you play as a soldier who went through this military test to have literally his spirit lifted out of his out of his body, and <clears throat> you can play as him in ghost form. That's him um, right here. And um, pretty much, you play as a ghost, and it's really cool. Not only can you like possess objects, um, like uh, paint cans. You can make the paint cans explode. You can possess a um, little arcade machine where you're shooting like small little pellets at targets. It's really cool. Um, you can possess a generator, just about anything really. <clears throat> but you can also possess soldiers if you scare them good enough. There's a, like a little meter on the outline of the character. If it's white, you know, they're normal. If it's yellow, they're startled. If it's red, they are completely scared. That's when you possess them. It's a really fun game. It's a first person shooter slash adventure, I think. Um, but I highly, highly recommend it. If you have a GameCube and you want more games. If you don't have this, I highly recommend this. I might do a review on it one day, but this game is awesome. Just awesome. Next game I got for the PS2 is WWE Smackdown Just Bring It. Um, I had to get this game because I am a die-hard wrestling fan. I have been since 2002. And, um, yeah, I mean, I had to because I used to have this game when I was a kid and I enjoyed it because my favorite thing in the game, I didn't find this out until after I sold the game but um, I found out that you can unlock the lead singer of Limp Bizkit, Fred Durst as a playable wrestler and I was like oh man but I finally got it and I did it I unlocked Fred, you know, I did what you were supposed to which was you were supposed to eliminate at least 15 wrestlers in slobber knocker mode and I unlocked and I did that I just hit the 15 mark the last a second and uh, unlocked Fred Durst and I've been playing as him you know so I enjoy this game any wrestling game is fun the next game I got hold on a second next game I got is um the game that came out the next year and that's WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth and I remember seeing commercials for this game and I was blown away at the time and <laughs> you can see the back there I <laughs> I remember seeing the commercial for this game I was blown away I could not believe it I wanted to get this game so bad only problem was I did not have a PS2 at the time. I had a PS1. So, and a Nintendo 64. So, I mean, it really wasn't, you know, it wasn't until later that I got this game and played it, and I, this is probably my favorite SmackDown game. So, I, yeah, I had to get it. Now, this next game, it's in a black box. It's in a black case. It doesn't have anything on it because the plastic has been ripped off so that means the plastic on the uh, case has been ripped off so that means the case came off too I don't know where it came from but I opened it up and Smackdown versus Raw whoops Smackdown versus Raw is in there and um, the person I bought it from you know it's I had to get this game because I remember I used I bought I think it was PlayStation magazine I really think it was and they were talking about the next um, the next uh, wrestling games the wrestling games coming out and um, 
this was in a uh, demo. Like it has like a like PS PlayStation Magazine used to have like these videos of games that were coming out, and they would show like video demos of what the games would look like. And when I saw SmackDown vs. Raw, I'm like. I literally drooled over what I saw. I had to get it. I couldn't wait for it. And then I got it, and I played the heck out of it. I mean, I played it, played it, played it, played it. Very, very awesome. Next game I got is TNA Impact on the PS2. TNA, not my favorite company by any means, but, but, but not my least favorite either. Um, I do remember watching this, watching TNA for the sole purpose of watching Jeff Hardy back in 2004, or at least trying to watch it, but at the time I was too busy watching WWE, which I think is a lot more better than TNA. Uh, in a way, both companies are kind of going downhill right now. But TNA is going more downhill than WWE is, in my opinion. But I got the game. I had to get the game. It's, I mean, it's a wrestling game. And wrestling games are fun. I guess it depends on which ones you play. But from this generation, they're pretty fun. I think my favorite thing in this game is the story mode. Because you play as an unnamed wrestler who used to go by the wrestling name Suicide. Who was a popular wrestler in TNA only to get beat beyond recognition and to rediscover who he really is. I, I dig that story mode. So I I I like this game but not it's I'll do a review on it and tell you what I think about it. The next game is Tony Hawk's Underground Two. Um, this game I never really played too much as a kid. I do remember once again in the same in the same um, video demo that had SmackDown vs. Raw on it, also had Tony Hawk's Underground 2. And this is also one of the games that I wanted to get. And I finally, you know, at the time I got it and I sold it and I got it and now I have it back. Well, oddly enough, it, it was the, between this game and American Wasteland. But I played this more, a little bit more than American Wasteland. I was into the Tony Hawk skater games for a while. Um, I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. I have Underground 2. I just need to get um, Pro Skater 3 because Pro Skater 3 is the one that I played more or around the same as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. But I like this game because you can customize your own character and I made him try to make him look like me, but he looks like a skinny version of me pretty much. Um, I enjoy this game. And finally, I have The Godfather, the game. Um, this game was actually really good. I've never seen the movies. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I'm sorry for all you guys who love the movie, but I didn't like it too much. I didn't like the movie too much. And But the game, though, the game was awesome. <clears throat> it's like Grand Theft Auto, but set in the 1920s. Um, you play as this guy, you, you pretty much you create the guy. Um, you play as this guy who, as a kid, saw his parents get murdered by a rival uh, mob, by a rival mafia. And um, your job is to take control of New York City, you know, for the uh, Corleone family. And it's awesome. I enjoy this game. Um, if you love the movie, you'll pro you probably will love the game. I've never seen the movie. Um, I probably never will. Sorry. But um, I'd rather be doing the things than watching. Well, that ends this video. Um, I will be back. I will definitely, especially with you know these wrestling games here, I definitely will be doing more back here wrestling episodes. Last one I did was five months ago. So I think it's about time for me to bring it back. Um, I will be doing reviews on Tony Hawk's Underground 2 as well as The Godfather. Um, yeah, I mean, I still got, I got a lot right here to do reviews on. So I will see you guys next week.
Um, I'll see you guys. Take care.